What's up squad? How's we doing today? My name is Dylan, also known as Secret. Today we're back on Supply Ops 3 doing another Analyze video, or reacting video, however you want to call it. But we're doing it a little different. So in the past, I've analyzed subscribers, I've analyzed myself, I've analyzed random people, I've gone around a lot of these and killed myself to watch people. I've done everything you possibly can, except this. I've never had somebody analyze me. So if you guys don't know, I, my good buddy, this Honest Gamer, you see him on the screen. He's also known as Honesty Gaming. He's got a YouTube channel full of subscribers known as the Honesty Army. And he is also an SD fanatic and a really solid SD player. So I went ahead and I called him up and I was like, hey, dude, you want to analyze me? I've done everything. I've done everything. Analyze the subscriber. I want to switch it up a little bit. All right. I love this series. We got we to gotta make it a little, little different. So. I asked him to analyze me and he was like, dude, so down. He came in, he made an analyze a subscriber video just like I would normally make. He said it was his twist, it's all honesty, it's his look at Search and Destroy and not mine, which I think it's really good to get someone else's opinion on SD, because he has a different play style than me, he's a different player. So it'll be interesting. I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to leave a like if you do. If you guys are your channel, subscribe to me. But most importantly, I need you guys to do me a big favor. Honesty and I have been friends for a long time. If you guys are around for the live streams, we're always playing together. Always playing s and destroying lobbies. Great, great friend of mine. Do me a big favor. Subscribe to his channel. It's linked down below. All right. I need you guys. If you're subscribed to me, you'll love honesty as well. So go subscribe to him. It means the world to me. Let him know I send you. Blow up his channel. I really would appreciate it. I'm going to be doing the same video. I'm going to be analyzing him on his channel as well. So if you guys want to go see me analyze honesty, that's going to be going up on his channel later on, later on some point after this video goes up. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to go subscribe to him. I really would appreciate it. It means the world to me. He's a great friend of mine and deserves a whole lot more support. So go subscribe to him. All right. Subscribe to him. But anyways, Honesty is going to hijack the channel now. The channel is his for the rest of the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Would suggest watching. He goes over some really good stuff in this video. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoy. Remember to subscribe to Honesty. And I will see you guys later. Honesty, you may take over. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy, Honesty, and that's right. I have Hijack Seek's channel, boys. I got it. It's finally mine. We're going to start this off. He has a... Get rid of that shit. Uh, where's my HUD? Oh, that's right. I shut it off for that other thing. All right, hold on. There we go. All right, there we go. Extend make, quick draw, rapid fire. I would have gone with, a, with some grip on that, but obviously it's up to him. It's, he's got the class. He's got a concussion and a frag. I would have also gone with a flash grenade. I prefer flash grenades a lot to the uh, these, but I know he prefers the concussions. He pushes through. All right, don't mind the push. Very aggressive. I love it. As you guys know, Seek's a very aggressive player. Checking all his corners. He's doing a very good job of that, and I want to point that out, that he's doing a great job. Now, right there, I'm going to say, I don't know if he saw him to begin with, but this guy was also, if you guys didn't see him, he was up here trying to get a little peek shot on him. So that's something to watch out for. I don't know if he saw it, but I, he may very well have. He had him pre-aimed, so he may very well have right here. That was, okay, right there. I think that could have been a misplay. So let's see if, oh, I can't pack this thing up. Oh, yeah, this thing's annoying. All right, so how do I, come, oh, come on, there we go. All right, so let's fast forward this real quick. All right, let's get back through this. This is really annoying. I hate how they did this, but all right, so right here was the first mistake. That I saw. So right here, pause. He has already seen two red dots on his mini map. So that means he knows to be below over here. Now, granted, he knows that this teammate's pushing him, but he doesn't know if he's going to get those kills or if these guys are facing this guy or him. So he should definitely have taken better advantage of that head glitch as he around the corner, in my opinion. Uh, he's definitely up against some head glitches. If these guys had had better aim, uh, they would have killed him. And he ends up killing that guy. Um, pushes up, gets traded out. That's another one of those things. You're weak. Probably shouldn't have pushed right there. Probably could have very easily taken advantage of this head glitch here. Or even done a quick pop shot up and over this. Let's see if we can get the angle. Right here, you can get a nice little pop shot over that. Wonderful thing to take advantage of. I do it every once in a while on the stream. Um, not that great with an SMG, but this guy was probably weak. I'm not 100% sure. But that would I'd have to be is the only mistakes this round. Uh, let's go ahead and go into the next one, though. Looks like they end up winning the round. 
I end up going 2-0. Oh, what a god. All right. So he's still got the XMC. Beautiful. SMC is so good, guys. It really is. If you guys are a rusher, this is your best friend ever. Oh, I think I know what he's going to do. He is. I love it. So if you guys don't know, I'm just going to show you guys. This is an awesome, awesome strategy. I use it all the time, too. You throw the frag up and over this, and it should land somewhere in this area. I don't know where his landed. I'm trying to see it. Let's see if I... Oh, jeez. Oh, his landed here. So that's actually not a good landing. That's why I usually throw a little bit further to the left. I was wondering about that when I saw him throw it. I usually stand up on top of here, and I'll jump up and toss it up and over here and have it land right about here. That's my throw, but he also has his own throw. Either way, it's awesome tactic. Keep it in mind. So he's going to run in the middle. I love this play. Absolutely love it. Going to chase this guy right there. That could have been a misplay. Um, fortunately, he got protected, but... So, I actually, I, I wish I could just back this thing up. So, what happened was, is you guys didn't see it. He was right here, and there's a red dot, and then he immediately pushed this way. And the entire time in that little house, they can see you. So, if they're over here, let's see if I can get the angle. But there's a red dot. It might have actually been this guy. Let's see. Does he have the M8? Uh, yes, he does. So, this guy was in here. He was shooting down over here. And there was that red dot. Now, if I was him... I would have just gone a little bit further to the left because I saw that red dot to protect me. That's it. Like, that was really wasn't that big of a misplay. Very minor. Still very well played. Very aggressive. But, yeah, I was going to say, now he's going to run that M8 that he saw just a little bit earlier. Uh, yeah. So, that's obviously misplayed. The red dot that I pointed out a little bit ago, uh, he didn't take proper note of it. And he took a, he took a death for it. Really hard death. Uh, not that big of a deal, but... It's really easy to miss that, but that is a thing to notice there. Obviously, not. I'm not in-game, so this is a much easier for me to analyze than it is for him playing live. He's in, got gunfights and everything else to do. He's taking the same route. Oh, oh, did he see that? Okay, so right there. Let's see if this guy is going to do it. Yep, so right there. This guy cut across. I saw this guy wall running the last second. He, and then again, he's going to come across here. I'm guessing this guy's going to shoot him. He's either going to look here. Or immediately push in after seek right here, hundred percent guaranteed. Let's see if my te his teammate wins a gunfight. He doesn't. He, he does lose the gunfight. So now seek take advantage of that. Oh 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 he doesn't. He still doesn't notice that guy. Yep. So right there. So even if he had won this gunfight right here, even if he had won this gunfight, this guy right here was going to shoot him in the back, one hundred percent. This was the guy that I noticed earlier. He got to run that wall run. That is a huge thing you have to protect if you're gonna take this middle route you need to make sure you don't get pushed through there if i take this exact same middle route i'll go through here shoot here cover this and then take quick peek here to make sure that that's not protected that's the order that i do it and it keeps me alive a lot um but obviously seek missed that guy and uh he definitely took a really big death for that one my man's going four and three. Oh, oh no this is a, this, they must come back on us or something. What happens? Oh, okay, 2-1. All right, so we're, he's 4-3 and three right now. Not doing horrible. He's positive, but we got to expect more from our boys, right? So he's getting messed up right here off the rip. Let's see if he goes to that same nade that he went for last time. So right here, let's see if he goes to a different place this time. Oh, shoot. Gosh darn it. These controls are so wonky. All right, so right here. Okay, so I can see what he goes for. He bounces off this rock and then gets it over here. Okay, all right. I don't mind that throw now. It lands in a different spot, but it takes care of different campers. So, I like it. All right, so he's got through here. You can see the guy's feet right there. I don't know if that's a teammate or not. That's a teammate. All right. So, now there's two guys up there. Good push in. I was going to say, check your corners. This is a very... Oh, I would have done the exact same thing. 100%. I would have done the exact same thing without a doubt. I would have immediately assumed that he's going to push through here, try and get the advantage with his brekkie. But he decided to cut back. Took a death for it. I don't think there's anything there he could have done. Um, I would have done the exact same thing. The only thing, I mean, no. Maybe, all right, so, all right, here's the play. Here's the play. And I don't even know if this was right. Let's see if it was right. I'm going to, all right, so my play, in hindsight, by the way, I would have done the exact same thing, like I've already said. I would have pushed through with my teammate over here, and then I would have challenged this guy on the, on the head glitch here, and then I would have tried to push in here. I probably still would have died to this guy camping in the corner and then trying to push up here to kill these two guys. That guy was the enemy and then this guy. Um, 
that's the only play I can even think of. Even in hindsight, with time, and I still think that that play would have gotten me killed somehow. So, don't mind the play at all. Good play. Uh, let's get through this really quickly. Um, looks like we end up losing the round again. Okay, so it's tied up 2-2. He's got his Ripper, which I've never understood the Ripper with an SMG. So, real quick, I'm just going to say this. If you have a specialist, personally... You should have a specialist that complements your gun. A Ripper and an XMC are two really, really good close-range weapons. The Ripper with an M8 is fantastic. It fills out that gap. It almost gives you a secondary when you don't have one. And it's faster to switch to. So, keep that in mind when you're going through. I know that my boy Seek here loves the Ripper. I'm not hating him on for it. I'm just saying that that's why I would uh, prefer something like Active Camo or Heat Wave. So, when he's in those close-range gunfights, it gives him the advantage over his opponents and not just sort of keeps it the same so obviously he's trying to have fun with it i don't mind that i'm just saying that's what i would recommend all right so he does do what i would normally do where he backs up there he's still oh seek oof so right there i i, I don't like that he didn't check the wall run again yeah huh. <laughs> hey look who it is guys uh so let's back that up real quick this is actually like i need to watch this one. what the heck are you serious Oh my goodness. Alright, so let's run fast forward all through all of this. Alright, so they're gonna blah 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 blah. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, fine. Come on. Alright, so I'm gonna point this out. Because I'm almost guaranteeing you that that guy came from the wall run he came from last round. Alright, so right here. Let's let's take a quick glance. Right there. There's the guy again. Taking the exact same wall run he took last time. This he saw him. He could have died to this guy, alright? Exact same wall run. So when he pushes up to here takes his head glitch and there's a guy and he does check over here right so he kills this guy then he immediately checks over here right right now he should be checking over here right now this guy you always assume your teammates are useless bam bam he didn't notice him all right so now let's see how this plays out i'm guessing he gets shot in the back oh oh you disgusting ah! i was told not to cuss okay oh gosh he just gunned the crap out of the VMP. Oh, my man. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's an M8. I was going to say, all right, so right there, he heard the M8. Uh, the play that I would have done is I probably would have jumped up over this, so you get a little peek, see where he is, and then backed up and tried to slide in here. Might have still killed me. He might have still one-bursted you. But you're definitely not standing still for an M8. And standing still for an M8 is pretty much always a death. So... Uh, that's the big one right there. I, I These are still not huge misplays. I'm having to be really nitpicky, guys, by the way. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm being really, really nitpicky. An average player, like, these mistakes are... They're, like, <laughs> they're fine for an average player. I'm being really picky on Seek because I know he's an above-average player. These are things I expect him to just kind of notice. Um, if I didn't be nitpicky, I'd just been here like, Oh my god, Seek's a god! Seek's a god! Seek's amazing! And that's all I do, and you know that's that makes for a boring video. So, uh, let, let's go into this. I think this might be the final round. Let's take a quick glance. Uh, it might be, it might not be. I don't know. So let's see. He take he's okay. So right now, I'm starting to notice. Does he cross through mid again? All right. So I gotta say this real quick. See, you're taking the same route over and over again. Like I, I'm really bad about this too. I'm not gonna say that I'm completely uh, absent about it, but taking the exact same route three times like i literally right there i was like he's gonna throw the nade he's gonna go on the wall run he's gonna cross the mid that, that that's that's not something you want to be doing you don't want to give the other team uh consistency and right there what the hell <laughs> i can honestly say i wasn't expecting him to die that way um i wasn't expecting him to die i i don't <laughs> okay all right, so well, let's fast forward through that. I don't know what the heck happened there. That was interesting. Uh, do we end up winning it? That's the question. I have no idea. 1v2, Jed the God in a 1v1 gets the W. All right, so that is actually the end. He ends up going 6-6. Six and six. That was a really bad game, but there were some mistakes there that we obviously pointed out. Um, overall, like he made a lot of good plays. Uh, some, some of it was timing. Uh, there's a little bit of just a uh, little bit of map awareness. I'd have to say that he needs to work on just fine-tuning that and then the 
the consistency on the routes, like the opening routes. He took that middle route every single time, and every single time he went on the left side. I think the enemy team uh, caught on to it, especially that uh, OG Scar guy. I think he really did catch on to it, that middle route. Um, the left side to mid, I don't think anyone caught on that. He might have been just fine with that, but he needs to practice switching up his routes a little bit more. Um, even when people aren't catching you, they start to notice where their weak points are and occasionally need to just be able to make sure to exploit new weak points uh because they're going to try and fill in those weak points and obviously towards the end that uh didn't work out well for him but guys that is Seek's gameplay and that was obviously a random gameplay i didn't remember what happened there uh it was a very very interesting gameplay uh, i'm glad i was able to analyze that and seek thank you very much for having me on your channel i hope you guys have a fantastic day make sure you guys stay honest no, peace out guys no, no, no.